If you've ever used voice meter banana, you'll know how much of a pain in the ass it is to use. It's overly complex UI, it's virtual audio cables coming out of the wazoo, and it's another program that you need to run in the background of your stream. Well, today I'm going to change your life, and it comes in the form of a single OBS plugin. I've been in that situation before, trying to figure out what audio to route where and struggling with what programs are playing nice and it's super, super frustrating. The Wind Capture Audio plugin for OBS is a replacement for Voice Meter Banana and it's hosted solely in OBS Studio. Directly from OBS Studio, you can control the audio from as many programs as you need and it's all located in that one audio mixer that we all know and love. There is, however, a small bit of setup required and before we get into that, I just want to say, on this channel, I really try my best to approach things with a practice what I preach mentality. I'm absolutely not going to shithouse you guys for the sake of some views, so if you want more content like this, I'd appreciate it. If you guys subbed, it's free, and of course you can change your mind at any point in the future. And while you're at it, why not check out my Twitch? As I've mentioned, it's a practice what I preach mentality, and I feel like I should be streaming and putting the advice that I give you guys to good use. So the link for that will be the first in the description. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to the Wind Capture Audio page on the OBS forum. Download and run the installer. And when that's finished, launch OBS. You'll know that the plugin is installed properly when you have the application audio output capture option when you try to add a source. The most important thing to do now is head into your settings and disable the desktop audio and the microphone audio that's located in that little audio tab and this will make it easier to control what scenes contain what audio. Now that that is done, we create a new scene. You can name it whatever you want, but in this scene we're going to add the audio sources that you would like to have in multiple scenes, so music and your microphone and whatnot. And for this example, we're going to use a microphone and Spotify. For your microphone, we're going to right click in the sources panel go to the audio input device option and set this to the microphone of your choice. To add the Spotify, what we're going to do is have Spotify open somewhere on your computer, doesn't matter. And in that same right click option, we're going to choose the top most option and it should say the application audio output capture. This will open a dialog box in which you can choose the Spotify.exe program. In order to add this to other scenes, we are then going to go into the scene that you want it on, right click the sources panel and add a scene. From this option we're going to choose the scene that you just made and your new audio devices will appear in the audio mixer. For every other audio source that you want to add, simply make sure you're in the correct scene and add that same application audio output capture source within that scene. Of course, choosing the correct .exe from the drop down list and it's as simple as that. When you add a new application audio capture to the scene, the audio will automatically pop up in that audio mixer panel. Things such as your browser source for your stream alerts will automatically come with its own uh, audio option and you will not need to add them, but you will however need to add games, your internet browser and whatnot so that you can get sound for that. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button down below and follow my Twitch to catch me live. It'll be the first link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.